Okay, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys, as well as you ladies. Uh, we've had a lot that's been going on with the Michael Irvin case, and in the interest of actually trying to get the stuff out to you as quick as possible, I missed actually the live video stream of the um, press conference of Le Levi McLaren, as well as Michael Irvin. We've got tad bits and things out, but I wanted to actually play the whole thing. One thing I did miss when I was watching it originally was there is, you know, th th there is truth in, in some of the things that Marriott said. And I realized after watching the tape a second time, uh, actually a third time, that after the interaction happened between Michael Irving and the female, when she goes back in and an employee comes over and, and, you know, wants to get a picture and stuff with them and gets a picture taken with them, that Michael Irving does do this little, you know, play slap. Um, I may be wrong when I say this, but you can't help when you see an attractive person that you're going to talk to, man, she's bad. <laughs> she's man she that uh, if that is the marker if that is the marker of being guilty then there's a whole lot of people out there that are guilty there's a whole lot of people that are guilty and i would dare say that there probably wouldn't be very many people working if that was the litmus test on what is um the right to have a job i'm not saying that you know, Michael Irvin, she bad, she bad, she bad, is necessarily correct. And maybe all of us are incorrect. But, you know, we have women at the same time that look, oh, my God, he's, he is so fun. Did you see, do you see the abs on that guy? Girl. Mm. I think we all do this. So before we cast the stone, Let's all take a look at this thing and go through the press conference. I'm sorry. Me personally, this is my opinion, and it doesn't matter what my opinion is. The only opinion that matters here is the judge and the court system. But let's actually watch the whole press conference in its entirety. You just go down there. Pull that one up by Michael. Michael, will, Michael slide down a little towards me, and we'll go right here. Okay, everybody ready? We all good? Thank God for coming back. Sorry we had to do this twice. It would have been nice to do it once. Um, thank God for coming. Here's the kind of format for what we're going to do today. Uh, I'm going to run through quickly where the case stands. I'm going to run through quickly a little three-page PowerPoint I've handed you about what you're going to see on the video. And I may, uh, as we're showing the video the first time, stop and start at some to explain some of the things that are on this list. And then at the end, for y'all who want it, I'll show a completely, uh, just run the video for you, the tape. Uh, we also, at the end, Mitch is my uh, IT guy. He's gonna be able to get y'all copies uh, of the video and you know, y'all talk formats or that is not my business. Um, some important times you're gonna see on the video, if you go to the First slide on PowerPoint. There you go. Uh, Michael and the complaining employee begin talking on February 5th, 2023. Uh, the conversations you see last a minute and 49 seconds. The whole video you're going to see last five minutes. The complaining employee makes a handwritten statement late afternoon on 2623. We think that's relevant because there's a big gap between the events you're going to see and when she actually first files something that says she was offended. In which she lists the time as the incident is 12.15 a.m. on 2.5.23. By the way, that's impossible. That's not when this happened. You can tell from the videos. Michael got escorted out of the hotel the next night at about 10 p.m., as you can see. Let's go to things to watch for in this video. First thing, right out of the gate, it's not even on the slide, is you're gonna see Michael as I described before in the back, talking to these eyewitnesses that many folks have interviewed. Um, he's more grabby and touchy-feely and, and uh, 
in close proximity to them than he ever will be with the complaining witness. When you see the complaining employee come out for the first time in the video, where she's going makes no sense if she's not trying to intercept Mr. Irvin. She clearly has no reason to be walking where she's walking as part of her job duties. It's pretty clear she's making a, a line of sight over to Michael to talk to Michael. In the back, there's, there's clearly, there were two employees that were together. There's going to be a man in a vest you're going to see throughout the video. This man, I think, is very, very important to this case. He's clearly in the back talking to the complaining witness before she comes out. And he comes around and posts up and watches her come up to talk to Michael. When he sees her with Michael, he does a weird move. He does this. He's going to bend over and clap his hands three times. You can draw your own conclusion. I think it shows he was, he was either happy or he was upset that she was talking to Michael. He lingers at the bar, uh, leering at the complaining employee throughout most of her conversation with Michael. You'll see him. He's very angry. When you first watch the video, I know you'll, you'll miss this guy. That's why I'm going to give you a few opportunities. He talks to a man in a gray shirt who appears to be security personnel. You'll see a gray shirted man circling the whole time who's clearly security for the hotel. When the conversation ends, the uh, complaining employee it looks very happy. She does a little kick at the end, a little kind of a sachet, you'll see. It's, it's kind of an odd gesture. And she continues talking to Michael like back over her shoulder, like happily as she's leaving. And she seems to be in a very good mood until this man in the vest you'll see comes up to her and grabs her. And he's very aggressive and he just starts ripping her. Like he makes her walk out with him and you can see him over his shoulder. He's obviously agitated and being very visibly uh, upset with her. Uh, the security guard that lingers in a gray uh, shirt lingers in conversation and one of the other Renaissance employees with him then goes and takes a selfie with Michael. Now remember these are all Renaissance employees that are right on the scene that see and can hear what's happening and they just act like nothing's happened. And then watch um, the witness's uh, body language as she leaves. The last thing, what we don't see, I only have one angle with of this uh, interaction with Michael and the complaining employee. You, it's going to be clear there's going to be many others and I'm hoping at some point I get those from Marriott and of course I'll share them with you. We don't have still the tape on what the complaining employee or Michael were doing before this tape starts. Clearly Michael had already been in the hotel and met with people and walked outside. We don't have that. Um, so with that, I'll give you quickly the status of the case. Many of you, I won't say incorrectly reported, but said, you know, we dismissed the federal court case. That is true. We did what's called a Rule 41 procedure. The case was refiled immediately and has already been refiled in Arizona in state court. Why did I do that? Well, you've seen all the pleadings that were filed here. We didn't know who all was involved when I started this case. So we brought the case in Collin County where Michael lives. They obviously removed to federal court. They wanted to move it to Arizona. Now that we know who's involved, we've sued four individuals that are listed by name in the complaint. We've listed the company that operates this hotel uh, out in Arizona, and of course we have added Marriott International again. Okay, with that, I think we're ready to go to the tape. But, but before we go to the tape, okay. tape, let me say this, let me say this. You know, I, I get a couple of I get texts all day from the guys that I work with, and and I do miss working and everything, but this is, this is more about, this is more than just work. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm in between big businesses here, businesses that two big billions of dollars with and for each other. But when you get called in a room and you're said, you, somebody tells you, hey, pack your bags, you're relieved of duty, go home. And I said, why, what happened? Well, you sexually assaulted somebody. I said, who, when, what? And I, nobody was in my room. Well. Don't worry about it. Go home. We'll talk. I said, wait, I, I, you're, you're, if you're telling me I'm doing something and I do not know what I'm doing, you can't tell me to just go home. I played this game hard. I played the game physical. And you guys know we all worry about it. We see what happens with our brethren and we now know about CTE. I'm saying, how can you say I'm doing something and I don't know it and you tell me to go home? I couldn't go home. Steve, 
you know, they put me in a hotel other than a Marriott and they watched me, him and his staff for three days, for three days to make sure that I wasn't doing anything crazy, make sure that I was okay mentally. And you guys know how hard we fought to get this tape. While I was sitting there and they were looking at me, we kept asking for the tape, let us see, let us see what we're doing. Let us see if we're doing something. You saw how hard we fought legally. I'm just, you know, I, I'm just thankful. I'm just so thankful for those witnesses. I'm so thankful for this video, for this video. Because without it, I, 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 I just don't know where this would, would have gone. I, you know, it, oh, this is a sexual assault. This is what they're calling sexual assault. It just, mm. you can run the video. Okay, as we start here, y'all can see up to the top right, um, Michael is outside with the gentleman that were here last time via Zoom. Um, I've called them the TMZ witnesses because they were the first to uh, interview them, but it's uh, th three. If you notice his body movements and what's going on, he's obviously going to be very friendly. There's some other people actually that I don't know their identity. Take a picture. That guy right there on the left, stop it. And go back 10 seconds. Can you do that? When I talked about the people that were in the back, talking, I believe a complaining witness, I believe it's this gentleman here who's some kind of a manager, and then you'll see the witness who's been back come out this side, okay? She's going to walk way around here to this pole instead of back to where her job would be back that way. Okay, go ahead and roll. There he goes. She'll come this way pretty soon across the bottom. Also, when she walks in, you'll see she kind of looks around the pole to see if Michael is still coming. You see her just barely duck her head. Here she comes. Right there. You see how she stuck her head to the right? Now pause it. Now, she's way ahead of Michael. If she was to continue at her same speed for her job, she should be way over at the bar in a second. But she clearly slows down so that they're going to intersect at that kind of juncture where you have to walk in the bar. So go ahead. This is the shake I talked to you about in the beginning, the opening shake. Pause it. This guy over here with his hands on his hips is the angry manager, okay? If you go back a few seconds, I want him to see what he does with a hand clap when he sees her with Michael. You come behind the bar, you'll see him walk out. So focus on him this time instead of on her. We went back a little far. It is not as granular as it should be. Okay. Well, we got it coming down because here she comes. He sees her back there where he's vectored, and he comes up, the, in, the manager, and you'll see him when he sees her. Watch his expression when he does. See the claps? I don't know what that is. Then he comes up here, and you can see he's, he's visibly frustrated at what's going on somehow with her. Now let's take your focus back to Michael and her. As you can see, they have friendly interaction. The body language is good. And they're just talking. In fact, as you see, he keeps more space from him than he does when he's talking to any male at any point in the bar. Some of y'all probably wish he'd keep more space when he talked to you. <laughs> That's pacing, hitting his hands. He's upset over there on the left with whatever's happening. The guy in the gray up top. That's the security guard that's wandering around. He'll, he'll circle around many times around Michael and her. Pause it one second. Now, we've been going for a while. They're having a lot of conversation. As, as Marriott released in their statement, they said basically, he said one word to her, an offensive, vulgar thing that he did not say, and it's clear from the video and from these witnesses. But they have a very lengthy conversation, and no one's trying to tell us what that is. Go ahead. Ooh. 
that's where she tells some kind of joke, I believe, to him. You see him kind of bend over. She's shaking her head back and forth like that. He walked in closer to her. She didn't back up at all. Now they're shaking hands. Now I want you to watch the end interaction here. Because she's going to kind of, when the people come up, she'll kick her leg. As she walks off, she's still talking to Michael over the shoulder, all friendly. There you go. Kicks her leg. And see right here, she's going to look back over her shoulder and take it to Michael. Now pause it. Pause it. Okay. They claim he was leering at her. When he looks back in the bar, she's way gone. Because you're about to watch, she's going to go over here, and that guy is going to go very, he's going to get very visibly upset with her. And basically, there's somebody who's, I don't want to use the word abusive, but there's somebody who's really being forward to her. It's this gentleman here. It wasn't Michael. So watch what happens. Okay, go ahead and roll the tape. You see him grab her, and she falls down positive. Now Michael's looking over there for the first time. He's not watching her. He's talking to these guys. You'll see in a second they turn around and they start talking to him. The guy in the white hat. Okay, go ahead. See? Interesting. Now Michael walks out to go take a selfie with this, we believe, Renaissance employee, 99% sure. And the security guy stays right there with him, who's been around for the whole conversation, really. Shows Michael where the elevator is. Okay, you can stop. There's nothing else relevant on this tape. It just shows the lobby for another uh, couple of minutes. Guys, this is ridiculous. I know what happened here. It's an overreaction based on the fact that well, the word we used the first uh, press release that was cancel culture. It's where we are. There's no doubt from watching this, this woman's not offended. Is it possible the manager was upset at her for talking to Michael because he's a celebrity and she shouldn't? Is it possible the manager was upset because he has some kind of relationship with her we don't know about? I, we'll find all this out in the case. But the one thing that is really clear, this is not a sexual assault. This isn't sexual harassment. This isn't sexual misconduct. None of that exists here, and I think this tape is very, very clear. Uh, Mike, you want to say anything else? Because I'm, all I'm going to do now is run this one more time so everybody can watch it um, in real time. And that's all we have. You good? Okay. Thank you all. If you need copies of uh, the Arizona pleading, I'm happy to provide it. And uh, I, I, can take a couple of, I can take a couple of questions. Is there... Do you know what you said to her? Can y'all just her dispute over their claims of what was said? Can y'all recall what was said at all? I, I, yeah, I, our conversation was about football. She said she wasn't much of a, book, a football fan. And I did tell her, I said, well, you watch, I was selling some shows. I said, you watch the shows that I do. Watch uh, First Take or, 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 or Game Day Morning. I said, you can look those up and you can see it. And I said, now, I, 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 I kind of get crazy on first take and have some fun, so that's what we were just talking about. And sir, at this point, are you hoping that with this being released, this will help in regards to your jobs, getting back to work and so forth? It, it, you know, listen, as I started to say, I, 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 miss, I miss my guys. I miss, I'm a football player. I miss my locker room and my team and all of those guys. But, but what was most important for me was to find out that I'm okay, first of all, that I'm not doing things that I, because I was like, what do you mean? I didn't do anything. I met people downstairs. That was important, you know, because play the game. I, and I want to make sure I'm okay for my family and everything. So I just wanted to see it. You know, that was more, whether, I, whether I work again or not, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what happened with all of that. But what I had to know was what are we talking about? What are you saying? I assaulted somebody, I attacked somebody, and, and, and you won't let me see it, and you're trying to send me home. You're sending me home to my family, and, and I needed to know. So, you know, yeah, listen, I, I'm just, yeah, yeah. Do you have any response to Marriott's claims about what was said in the conversation, the claims that they made in their filing? Yeah, I, yes, I, 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 I imagine 
they are, they're trying to now, since we're, we're here with this lawsuit, trying to say some things and to, 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 to help their to help win a case. I, I believe even the filings that that filing that you have that they wrote that after after all this came together. That's not anything that they got, came up with uh, prior to. So you know, I, I I don't speak like that. You know what I mean? I, I've never spoken like that. So I, I'm not even. Yeah, I, I totally deny saying that. I totally deny saying that. Sir, you said you'd like to see other angles from Marriott. Are you positive they have other angles that show the interaction? If so, they, they, many? Yes, uh, they've said that they have terabytes of other information. Again, I've been trying to, <laughs> they keep telling me they don't have time to get it. And if you realize the time frame I gave you, in a little less than four or five hours, they were able to come up with this video to show um, the NFL mm. or show somebody, which I'm not even sure the NFL saw it, but they said that they did. Uh, Marriott said that they did. So I don't know why it's taking so long, but it's clear there's other angles. Can you just go back over to the zone of calling in court to federal court to Arizona, why the jump? Sure. Um, you know, when you, when you file a lawsuit, you have to sue the, the right people. That's really difficult to find out in the beginning. So we knew it was Marriott. You didn't, as you see, the, the entity went up to it's Renaissance Hotel Operating Company. Okay, that has, it doesn't have Renaissance, Marriott, downtown, anything in it, anywhere. So we filed it in Collin County as quickly as we could. We actually thought that by filing a lawsuit, we could get them to sit down and go over this tape with Michael, like Steve asked them repeatedly in Arizona. Hey, can we all sit down together and go over this tape? Look at what they've done. They've spent tens of thousands of dollars at a minimum to keep y'all from seeing this tape. Well, if it's so good for Marriott, why are they doing that? Because they know that any rational person can watch this and see this is either a setup or a after the fact invention or something to try to cover why that guy up there is mad. And I don't know why he's mad, but he's clearly frustrated with that employee and the employee's happy as a lark. I mean, you don't do the little leg kicks and the little over the shoulder and the stuff you'll see when we run it here without that. And you guys take it back to your office and tear it down a thousand ways to Sunday. Right. We're not here trying to hide anything. Right. I, I, I have never wanted to come in here and just give y'all a description of what I saw. I've always wanted to show y'all this. I just know you guys want to let this play out in the court of law to prove your innocence, but there is a court of public opinion. And probably last week, people have made decisions what do you hope this video says to the court of public opinion? Uh, what do you mean? As far as the perception of you following what Marriott has said, now that this video is out publicly, the video shows to the public. I, 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 I hope it shows what it shows, the truth. Just the truth, you know? And, and, and Listen, you, you guys understand the court case, there's a lot of things. In these filings, they said basically, well, we had to move her because Michael said he stays there. Like, I'm going to hunt her down, kidnap somebody, and kill somebody. Come on. It's just, it's just mess. Here's the truth. We used to say when we played football, die in the sky, don't tell no lie. It's just the truth. We talk and tell lies, but die in the sky, don't tell no lie. I think we're good. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. God bless, guys. All right, that's that's the full press conference interview showing of the tape of Michael Urban's. Um, we'll see where it goes now. Now the new court filing has now been done in an Arizona court, as Levi basically said. You know, we didn't know exactly where this thing needs to go until we start getting some of the stuff done. Um, I would say that Levi McLe uh, McLaren, he didn't fall off the salad truck. He knows what he's doing, and he is playing this thing. He's not one of the best litigators out there for nothing. He knows how to work this. The thing here is um, this, again, is another win in my imagination for Michael Irvin. The tape is out here, and you don't hear the way it was presented by Marriott was, you know, this is a, a rabid dog that needed to be locked up. You don't see any collaborating evidence of that from the tapes. At some point, 
you have to understand that money talks and BS walks. And as they put it, as Michael Irvin definitely put it, this is, you know, I make no bones about it. This is billion dollar industries that pay each other billions of dollars and things like that. I just want to get my life back. So that's where we are with this. And as always, you know, make your own mind up. Try and get as much information as you can before you pass judgment. And that's where we are. From my standpoint, from what I've seen thus far, I, I have not seen anything that backs up Marriott's case. I have not seen anything that says that this man should have been removed from NFL Network and ESPN, that this man should be vilified as a sexual predator and that this was a sexual assault. Um, quite frankly, I've seen a lot of people in positions that have done much, much more that just has been swept under the rug like it's just nothing. Sorry. It's just the way it is. I'm Mark Holmes, and I appreciate you. Peace.